I don't need to go on IG to hustle. I don't need to go on IG for nobody to know me. I move in silent and that's the way I liked it. You understand what I'm trying to say? But at the end of the day, ain't no rat standing there sweating like a pig gonna shit on me and feel like I'm not gonna attack back. I now press charges back on you and show my videos. You understand? So you can find, make your way to the precinct tonight or tomorrow. Anybody that follows a girl like you is just as empty as you. All you sit down there and talk about is followers, clothes, and whatever. Foolishness. I like nice things and I do nice things, but at the end of the day, I don't praise it. I don't praise it. I don't look up to you. Then you want to turn this thing around talking about I want to be you and I'm obsessed with you. How can I be obsessed with you when you're the one watching me? Things have to be sent to my phone. How I know what's on your thing? If you notice, I'm always late because it's sent to my phone and I'm always working. Always working. If I put up something right now, by the next two minutes, you're putting up something. And remember, like I always say, I'm not Instagramming, you are. Then you putting up the man voice because really your life wasn't about clarifying that you love your, your, your Jadian and um you don't want this man. Your life was actually about trying to prove to Toya, oh, your man loves me. Um, The, the, the voice notes that you have, they're not with him on the street. They're with him in jail. Everybody loves everybody in jail. And you say you called, uh, no, not you call you there bringing up Chanel name or whatever. So that means you must have spoke to her. So y'all should share stories of how similar your stories sound with the same bullshit. It's game. I'm so happy that you had called Chin with the voice notes. So it's confirmed that he's not talking to you now. These are old. You got mad because everything that I said what is true. And you confronted him about it. That's why you cannot play everything. You confronted him about it. Why are you telling your chick this? Why are you telling your chick that? Because like I always say, at the end of the day, I get mad. He's going to tell me the truth. Because remember, I cannot have truth spy on him in jail. Right? And then he's reassuring you because I already know that he's talking to you. And he's telling me, babes, just give me a little time. Because at the end of the day, anything I ask this girl to do, she's going to do it. And I played along for a little while, but when the pink wall shit came up the first time while he was in jail, I said, fuck this shit. And Sax is close to, fuck this, I'm, I'm blowing up everybody's spot. Y'all not going to be throwing words at me and I'm not saying nothing back, right? So he reassures you that, oh, my love, yo, un, um, she already know her. I'm on the street, you would never hear shit like that. You heard that because he's in jail and I already know the game that's being played. So if you was to even say to me, T, you know, so, um, tired, um, Jason, whatever, me, I already know her. So when you are put it up to the world, like say me and you Trace and you're talking to him currently, nada. You understand? At the end of the day, he did what he did just like your man been doing what he do, been doing for years. Just like Beyonce man did what he did. Just like Clinton did what he did. Listen, I don't want nobody to tell me what to do with my man because any I was always the mediator between friends and it, with relationships. And... I was always in a good position in my relationships and my past relationships. And when I didn't like something, I left. But I never had this public ridiculousness. But I was always the one to say, pick the pros and cons in your relationship. Which one is heavier? I don't need to put up my man voice. I'm not going to do that to him. You understand me? I am not going to do that to him. I'm a team player. I care about my man. I don't care about you. You understand? I could care less about you. I don't care about your clothes. Like I said, I don't care. The same thing I said before on the live. I don't care about you. I just want you to leave me the fuck alone. You understand? So you lock me up. You're getting back your lock up. I hope this shit could end now. You understand? Because I never seen a girl that shake when they see their husband and love their husband so much. Like if I even was talking to a nigga and I had all those things on my phone, you think I could be in here with my nigga playing that shit? Are you crazy? Because it only shows that I want the man. I'm entertaining the man. And everything that I said, said 
Remember, I didn't really put out voice and I didn't put out, and people say, Tire me for put out this. I'm not putting out shit. I don't have to. The truth shows all over me. You basically confirmed everything that I said. Everything I said, you confirmed. Because I don't know how the hell I would know about 2800 and you confirmed that. You understand? The cash app was old. I forgot about that. And you brought it up. Nobody said anything about him doing a shop. You're, you're, you're showing that you're constantly on the phone with him when he was in the place where he was at before he got sentenced. And like I said, you did this because you got mad because he tells me everything. So this was your payback to him. You held it for so long. You understand? And then you decided to release it because when I found out about the nastiness for Una carry on, remember, you know, I never called your husband. Your husband wanted to talk to me. And then my man called me from jail and I said, You're, that girl's man want to talk to me. And he said, put him on the line. And I didn't even play the whole thing because the whole thing actually talks about, he wasn't bigging up your pussy. He was actually telling your man how much of a dog shit you are. You follow him up here and you follow him up there. And like I said, and if certain people is to step forward that I called the name earlier, they know. The whole thing talks about the threesome and it talks about Everything you did, the Louis Vuitton hat, the Montclair jacket, the this, the that. Like, the list goes on, and you actually confirm to all of that. The Montclair and the Louis Vuitton hat and those things you confirm on the phone with other people while I was on the line. The money and that shit, you can, like, at the, and then you say, you, you, you're nyami mode, then you're saying broke, and then you say, listen, listen, I don't give a fuck. Who you want to pay. Then behind closed doors, you call in all type of people to try to get back at me, to have them against me. You understand me? But let me tell you something, bitch. Quality shows. I'm not shallow like you. All you give a fuck about is fucking clothes. And you sit down there. Tell you, see about me, look good, I'm whatever, whatever. If you look good and you're confident in yourself, you don't need to preach that every day. Let a motherfucker out there tell you that you look good. Because I know I look good and I'm comfortable in my skin. And I could never have went to Cabral with your picture because I, me, myself, and I went to Cabral by myself. And I was in his office by myself. And I don't really praise Instagram people. But if I was to show a picture, it would be the little, the, what's her name? The Kylie sister. A thick girl like myself. Ari. That would be the body for me. And I don't have to choose Ari body because there's nothing wrong with Toya's body. I want to be a better me. I could never want to be like you because I don't see you as nobody. You're not inspirational to me. I'm not one of your followers or your friends that will follow behind you where some of them is actually in better positions than you and they don't even know that. You understand? You are nobody to me. But I am so mad about the lockup and I had to talk and get that off my chest. And everybody out there that hides behind the pink wall and all these stuff and talking all these stuff. Like, you don't phase me. Like, one thing I know is that once you once you try to beat down a person so much, from that person is strong, they get immune to the bullshit. Like, you're numb. Only a weak-ass bitch will fold. And like they say, you want to see Toya fold? Meet me. Don't even meet me at the laundromat because I don't go to the laundromat. Meet me in my laundry room. You understand me? That's when you're going to see me fold. So all this shit you think that you got in this live that you're making, talking about you win or whatever. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. All you did was make your man look even smaller. Because their life was not about showing that you um you didn't sleep with the man. Your life was about to prove that this man liked you. Um, Well, like I said, if you spoke to the other ladies, I guess he likes all of you. He doesn't want me. He want all of y'all. He doesn't want me. He he's he's like he's like um what they call that man? The one that steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Is it Peter Pan or is it um I can't even remember. That's what he did with y'all. That's what he did with y'all. I don't give a fuck what you want to say on your live. I don't care what you want to do. You understand? One thing with Toya, I don't keep anything that don't want to be kept. You understand? And there's a lot of things that me and my man went through to be where we at now. I don't keep nothing that don't want to be kept. So if he did not want to be kept, he would have been released a long time ago. You think that's what you wanted to play? You asked this man about if I don't really give him three sums and how you, if you leave your man or whatever, listen. And I told you this before on the phone. 
anytime Jay said, oh, tie your pussy big, I mean, I want her, whatever, whatever, I'm going to leave her a few, whatever. Bitch, I'll give you 10000 and let him write. You putting up your light talking about I love you in jail like that was supposed to affect me. Remember, me and you know the truth. But then again, it's for the people because remember, all you care about is followers. Because you're on my page talking about followers. I could care less if one person was following me or three. Because everybody actually was saying to me, yeah, people know me. You understand from what I do. And they always say when they lose contact, they can't even get in touch with me because they don't see me or nothing. They can't find me and whatever. And nobody's giving them the number, whatever. And I just kept it like that. I'm just like, if you to, to contact me, you'll get to me or whatever. I don't care about no fucking followers. And any bitch out there that want followers, you know all you got to do. You don't have to have money. You don't have to do nothing. Go to the store, buy some clothes, buy some name brand, put it up, throw up some money. You know what I'm saying? Change your name from change your name from Brown or Robinson or White to Go Getter or Money Bag, and just constantly post, 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 and then you'll become IG famous. That's all you gotta. You don't have to have shit. That's all it takes. You understand? So I don't need a girl to hype me because remember, I got what it takes for real. So if I wanted to do that, all I got to do is just, just, just video all day. Let me do this. Let me, um, let me, I'm sipping this champagne. I don't got time for that bullshit. I share when I want to share because IG and, and Facebook is for sharing. You understand? It is for sharing, but I don't show off on nobody. I'm very humble because I know where I came from and I never forget where I'm came, it came from and I never try to act like I'm better than anybody. You, you was a person that I don't like and yes, I'm better than you. Yes, I'm better than you and when I say I'm better than you, in, I'm rich in so much ways that you're not. Like I said, you're empty. You're insecure and you're mad empty and that's why you have to constantly try to beat people down, talk shit, do all this shit to make yourself feel secure because you're really insecure. Remember, I have the conversations and I've made some of my friends hear them and I will never put up J voice and I don't have to do that because guess what? Just like I went in that precinct classy and I did not have to know he could have booked me and, and, and sent me off to central booking with a felony and he just was like, oh my God.